Rusty Harden, who is the agent, or not the agent, the uh, uh, attorney for Deshaun Watson, he has come out and said that the NFL has not yet even interviewed Deshaun Watson. Uh, now, this does not surprise you at all. It did surprise nope. me a little bit because of the timing. It is June 20th when we were recording this. Uh, I figured at some point they would have interviewed him to figure out, okay, what is going on? Like, I understand you fighting, but we need some information. Like, it, we need you to, to be as honest with you or as honest with us as you can be. What is going on? Like, I don't right. think it hurts for them to call and have a conversation. I got. I got to ask you a personal question. Okay, we've talked about your personal finances. We talked yeah. about your a little bit of your political beliefs and your medical history here. So we're going to get real personal. What information? What logic are you using to think this is what they would have done by now? Like, you're shocked that they haven't done this. What What information are you using? You're thinking that you would have done it by now, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you do you think Roger Goodell, this this moron, this this dancing monkey for the for the owners, you think he's capable of making a good decision? I mean, I would hope. Or do so. you think this is a Mark Emmert situation? I'm literally these two guys could be connected at the asshole. They're the same person. <laughs> okay. They don't want to do anything hard. They want to just wait it out and hope that somebody else. They want to hope that either. The smoking gun lands and they can take the evidence that falls and say, he's a bad guy. We have videotape. We have, we have a smoking gun. We have some hardcore evidence showing that he's a bad guy and then they can rule on that. Or they're hoping that some smoking gun the other way comes out and all these women have colluded together to ruin Deshaun Watson's life so they can do that. They're just hoping that somebody else does something to make their job easy because why should we pay somebody a hundred million dollars a year to do a good job and be smart? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're, <laughs> I'm just, I, I don't, I, trust I, I look this at person this as logic. Zero. Right? I think you think smart people run these things because they're highly compensated and, and they, they do a very prestigious job. I, I, I don't think that equals a smart, intelligent person. I think they're morons. I think the reason Roger Goodell keeps getting the job that he gets is because the owners want a moron. Because if it was a smart person in there, the owners couldn't manipulate him. That is a I very think, valid point. I think, I think the same thing for the presidents and Mark Emmer. They all hate him, but they all re keep putting him in because he's a puppet. That they can literally crack a whip and make him dance. All right? Yeah. That's it. That's the, it. He's a stool pigeon, and that's what Roger Goodell is. Why the hell would he do anything hard? The NFL, I'm sure, is hoping for a settlement. He's hoping yes. for a quick settlement. Now, Tony Busby, the attorney for uh, the 22 women, has said that there will not be a settlement. Like, that will not be happening, uh, at least not anytime soon. They're not even going to interview, like, the legal entities are not going to interview Deshaun Watson until after... The, the Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. Yeah, it'll be like March yeah, or April of next year. It's going to be a while, and at this point, you know, I, this hamstrings the uh, the Texans. This, you know, messes with Deshaun Watson as to whether or not he can play. Because as of right now, if they don't interview, if they only don't do hamstrings like, the Texans or messes with Watson until the NFL makes a ruling or decision. Right. If I'm the Texans and I was Watson, I would go forward as if nothing's going to happen to him because. If the NFL is not going to do an investigation, then how can they make a ruling on any of this? So if the NFL doesn't make a ruling, if you're Deshaun Watson, do you go back to the Texans and just play? I don't know. Yeah, I would. I would. Now, I know he wants out of there, but he understands during this process, nobody's going to trade for him until he gets some clarity on this. I am I am very curious uh, what he ends up doing because uh, you remember he he sat out camp, he sat out workouts, you know, all yeah. that good stuff. No, he, yeah. He's not like he still is very adamant that he wants out of Houston. And I, but, I think Houston wants him gone, but they can't trade him right now. I think Houston yeah. wants an investigation done and a, they want a ruling by the NFL th themselves. Yes. Yes. That's what I think. I think Houston, it's not the player that wants the ruling. I think it's Houston that wants the ruling. Well, yeah. Like they want something well, I think, done. I think Watson wants a ruling too because he needs to know can I go to work or not. But if I was him, I would go about my life as if I'm going to play this year. 
Yeah. Yeah. The problem is, right. is, is if he's, if he's adamant about not playing for the Texans, they can't trade him with this leaning over him. They just can't. Yeah. No, it's impossible. So like, now you're Houston. You have to pay this contract until the NFL does something. Yes. Yes. But you, you have to correct. pay a guy that much money to sit on the sidelines and do nothing. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.